do that anyway. Uh, it, it's called Birth Time, the documentary, that's part of the title, 104 minutes M-rated. And it's quite a controversial documentary, isn't it, Peter? Uh, insofar as the, the whole birthing experience can be quite uh, difficult for a number of women. Well, it, a, lot of, a lot of women are encouraged not to do it at home. So, I mean, it, you know, all of those sorts of things and, and the birthing factory mentality of, uh, of a, a hospital environment. Freedom of choice and more say are at the heart of what is a forthright doco that condemns the hands-off baby factory process involved in many hospital births. It's quite confronting, isn't it? It speaks, I mean, it, it, from the very beginning, it's it sort of, it makes, it, and I, I admired that about it, I might say. But, I mean, do, did you? I, I did. I admired it, especially because it canvassed the different ways that birthing, the birthing experience can occur for women, and yeah. also the way men can be involved or have been shunned from the experience in the past. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it speaks with a litany of women. Uh, is that the collective noun? I'm, I'm not being offensive here. Um, I, I wasn't trying to be anyway, and I think I just have, so I apologise. Anyway, it, it, it speaks with a litany of women and men who shed light on a broken system that leaves many traumatised. Uh, the basic contention presented is that pregnant women about to give birth in hospitals lack empowerment. And the filmmakers have assembled this impressive cadre of mums, dads and medical health and legal experts they're erudite, they're impassioned, they really speak magnificently. A senior lecturer in midwifery says about a third of women leave the birthing experience describing it as traumatic. I'm not just talking about giving birth, I'm talking about the, the process of giving birth, leading up to it and, and when, when it actually happens. About two thirds of that one third say it's because of the actions and interactions of care providers. So that reference is what's being done and what's being said to them during birth. Over the last century, birth intervention rates have risen dramatically in an increasingly medicalised system. And an obstetrician in this documentary says that Western medicine has a tendency to over-treat and to justify that over-treatment. Now, about a third of all children are born via caesarean section. And what those interviews say does make sense, notwithstanding the fact that rattling around in my mind is concern along these lines. All is fine until it isn't, right? So, I mean, it, you then want to be in a hospital environment, do you not? You want to be close to things. I don't know, that's, that's what I, I was thinking. Peter, what did you think at the time? Uh, look, I agree with you, and especially if you think of the film Pieces of a Woman, which starts off with a home birthing experience that... Uh, goes wrong. Uh, I, I think you're right that uh, the, uh, being in hospital at least uh, gives you that medical security. Mm. Well, in other words, a home birth is all well and good, presenting a beautiful, comfortable environment with the presence of not only the nearest and dearest, but, but a trusted midwife. Absolutely. Now, I don't have a problem with that, and it's not for me to have a problem with anyway. But what happens, though, if there are complications when time is of the essence? Okay, this documentary does address that, though. A graph it references points to the Australian birth, birthplace study, which looked at 1.25 million births over 13 years. I think it came out a couple of years ago. And it reveals that the outcome is actually more favourable in a birth centre or home environment. That stunned me. Mm. I mean, did you, do you remember that? There was that one slide that showed that? Yes, yes, I do. Now, the takeout... Medical safety needs to be balanced with emotional safety. Mm. That's the sort of take home. Now, I, I suppose that when you've got a documentary that, if you like, plugs a particular view of the world, and it do, by the way, it doesn't demean hospital births, if that's a choice, right? It just demeans the way the processes work within a hospital environment. I think it's important that I point that out. And I think it's important that everybody understands that when, you, when you're going into this. It's not just kicking you know, somebody while they're down. It's not like that. But, I mean, it, it, much of what is shown it does involve home births, but not exclusively. Some women do choose hospital births, but with greater control than what they consider the norm. And there's also, Peter, 
Remember Westmead Hospital in Sydney is presented here as an example of a hospital which is getting the birthing process right by having a mid midwife involved from early in a pregnancy until after the birth. There's a hell of a lot going on here, isn't there? There is, there is. It, it, it really covers the topic uh, inordinately well. It's, uh, it, it really goes into depth about the experience. Uh, it's interesting how both of us are talking about this. It'd be interesting to hear a woman's point of view about the film. <laughs> it would. I agree. I agree. Well, I mean, you know, unfortunately, this forum is at the moment is only four men, so we have to we have to do that job. But I mean, there's issues about the system, about money, human rights, the patriarchy, feminism. All of them are canvassed. And suffice to say, there's a great deal of positivity among these true believers quote unquote about the the benefits of an open honest and transparent system which respects pregnant women and their partners in their hours of greatest need and I, I think that's a very positive message Peter I agree it is it is and I think it's a it's one that I think many many couples uh, will want to see uh, to really discuss the whole birthing experience in advance well it seems on incontrovertible that improvements to current processes are needed and the sooner that happens the better it's written, produced, and directed by Jerush... I, I, I don't know whether I'm pronouncing the name correctly. Jerusha Sutton, Zoe Naylor, and Joe Hunter. And the trio are also responsible for researching, casting, cinematography, sound, and lighting. They've got it all. And, <laughs> I, I mean, it, it's, quite, it's quite a... I mean, they've obviously taken quite some time to get this together, and I think they've done a, quite a brilliant job. And Sutton also co-edits the work with Ryan Harrison. So what are you going to give it out of 10, birth time, the documentary, Peter? Rated M, 104 minutes. Sure. Look, I think it's a pretty good documentary. It re reveals a lot of issues, uh, discussion starters, if you like, for people watching it. Uh, I gave it 7 out of 10. Hmm. Okay. Do you have any reservations about it? Uh, only to some extent that it is a very personal uh, sort of documentary, and perhaps I would have liked it to explore or expand a bit more, especially with other cultures uh, and other experiences. Mm, okay, fair enough. Now, look, before we finish, I just wanted to, to reference a couple of things. Uh, it, it, it was interesting to me that we had the five-day lockdown in Melbourne and then everything sort of opened up again.